Well, I thought I would do another exercise on simultaneous equations. Uh, that is a more advanced question that involves or includes one linear and one nonlinear. Now, based on the previous examples that we have worked, uh, usually uh, when you get the equations, right away you could realize that one is a quadratic and one is a linear. However, when you look at these two equations that we have here it's it's not that easy to to recognize that so in this case the quadratic it's a bit disguised okay so let's just work through it and see how you get around this I just want you to be comfortable given the fact that any situation you're in you can find your way out okay so we have two equations and we're going to solve them simultaneously so first I'm going to label my first equation equation one and my second equation equation two now what I'm gonna do basically is that I'm going to make a the subject or B the subject it doesn't matter which one you choose I'm going to choose a to make a the subject so I'm going to say make a the subject in equation 2. Now equation 2 states that a minus b is equal to 1. So if I'm making a the subject I must look at what b is doing to a and when I notice b is subtract being subtracted from a so I'm going to say I have to add b to both sides really to make a the subject so I'm going to say a minus b plus b is equal to 1 plus b now I know that a negative b will cancel out with a positive b so I'm left with a is equal to 1 plus b now I have an expression in a so now I can take that ex expression in it and I'm going to just quickly label this equation before I move further this is my equation 3 Okay, so that's 1, 2, and now I, I have derived my equation 3. Now, I am going to, I can now substitute A is equal to 1 plus B in equation 1. So anywhere I see A in equation 1, I'm just going to replace it with 1 plus B. So let me just make another note here. Substitute, substitute, A equal 1 plus B into equation equation 1 okay now equation 1 states that a times b so we have a a b is equal to 20 and a b is the same as a times b so I'm going to remove my a and I'm going to replace it with 1 plus b so here I have 1 plus b and I'm going to put that in a bracket and I'm going to multiply that by B because A is multiplying B and all of that is equal to 20. So really what I have here, I, I must now expand my bracket, remove the brackets by distributing B inside the bracket. Okay, so I'm going to say B times 1 would give me B and then B times B will give me a plus B square and that is equal to 20. Now if you notice now what kind of equation we have here we would have a quadratic equation and our quadratic equation is in B so I must now rearrange, this, rearrange it by rewriting in its general form now okay so I would have a B square plus B so this B square then this positive B and that would be equal to 20 now I need to now take across my 20 so that I have 0 left over here. So I'm going to say b square plus b and I would have to subtract 20 from both sides. So I'm going to say minus 20 because this is a positive 20 and that is equal to 20 minus 20. Okay, what I do to this side, I must also do to that side. So I know that a positive 20 will cancel out with a negative 20. So really what I have left here is b square, b square plus b 
minus 20 is equal to 20 minus 20 will leave us with a 0. So now here we have a quadratic in its general form. So I mean we can go ahead and we can solve this by factorization or you could also use the quadratic formula to solve. So let me just rewrite what I have down there up here. I have a b square b square plus b minus 20 and that is equal to 0. Now again by factorization we know that we're taking the product of AC so therefore AC would give me the product would give me A is 1 and my C is negative 20. So I have the product of AC is negative 20. Now I need two numbers. When I multiply them I get negative 20 but when I add them I get a positive 1 and by intuition that would state that it's 5 times 4. Now if you notice 5 4's will give me positive 20 but I need a negative 20 so I'm going to have to change the sign on one of these factors. When I look at my B my B is positive so my largest factor should carry the sign of B so I'm going to change the sign on the 4. So I have a 5 times a negative 4 will give me a negative 20. And I have now a 5 minus 4 is equal to positive 1. And positive 1 is a coefficient of b. Okay? Good. Now I can just use my factors to expand this. So I will have a b square. And then I'll change this b here. I'll remove this b and, and replace it with a plus 5b minus 4b minus 20 and that is equal to 0. Now I can go ahead and factorize by grouping and when I fa so really I can now factorize by grouping so I'm going to say I'm taking out what is common to b square and 5b so I have a b there and b into b square will give, leave me with a b and b into 5b will leave me with a positive 5 and now I close my bracket any sign that is here I'm just going to take that down and I'm going to ask myself what is common to 4b negative 4b and negative 20 and I would have a 4 that is common so I'm going to open up my bracket and I'm saying negative 4 into a negative 4b negative 4 will cancel negative 4 leaving me with a positive b and then I'm going to say a negative 4 into a negative 20 goes positive 5 times okay because a negative into a negative will give us a positive and that is equal to 0 now when we are here guys when we reach here all we're doing is I'm going to combine what's on the outside of the bracket okay so this B here and this negative 4 here I'm just going to take them and I'm going to rewrite them in a bracket so I'm going to say B this B and then this minus 4 and then I'm going to close my bracket and then I'm going to open up another bracket and I'm going to say B plus 5. I'm just rewriting what's inside one of my brackets. Okay, so I mean after I've, after I've factorized and now I have my factors then I'm going to just take out my factors and I'm going to equate each of my factors to 0. So I'm going to have b minus 4 is equal to 0. Now I need to solve for b. Okay, so when I look 4 is being subtracted so I must do the opposite of subtraction which is addition. So I'm going to have 4 minus 4 plus 4 and what I do to one side I must do it also on the next so I added 4 here now I'm going to add a 4 there so I know that a positive will cancel out with a negative so I know that B is equal to 0 plus 4 will give me a 4 now I have one solution for my quadratic and we all know that we need two solutions when working with quadratic equations so or since I've solved when b is minus 4, that factor, since I've got a solution, now I need to find my next solution. Okay? So I'm going to say when b plus 5 is equal to 0, then now I need to say b, and if you notice 5 is being added to b, so I need to subtract 5 from both sides. 
of my equation okay so I have a subtraction of 5 there so b plus 5 minus 5 this will cancel out so I'm left with a b is equal to 0 minus 5 will give me a negative 5 good now I have two solutions for my quadratic let me just clear here because I think we're going to need a little bit of space okay so let's clear there quickly now if you notice since I have my two solutions for my quadratic now I'm just going to take each because I have two solutions rather uh, for B now I need to find my two corresponding a values okay because if you notice in the first in the original equations I have a and B as my variables so I'm just going to simply take each of these solutions for B to find the corresponding a values so I'm just going to make a quick statement here substitute substitute b equal 4 into equation and I'm going to choose the simplest equation into equation 1 okay so equation 1 states that a b is equal to 20 so a times b is equal to 20 now if b is 4 then I'm going to say a times 4 is equal to 20 so really this is a times 4 is the same as 4a is equal to 20 and all I'm doing since 4 is multiplying a I'm just going to divide through by 4 to get the value for a so 4 will cancel 4 so a is equal to 4 into itself goes once and 4 into 20 goes 5 times so obviously a is 5 now I found the I found the corresponding a value when b is equal to 4. Now I need to find my corresponding my corresponding uh, a value when b is equal to negative 5. And again I'm going to take that and I'm going to say substitute substitute b is equal to negative 5 into into equation equation let me use one again okay so I have a a B is equal to 20 so I'm basically saying five a times negative 5 is equal to 20 so really what I have here I have I have a negative 5 times a will give me a negative 5 a and that is equal to 20 so basically I'm just going to be dividing through by my negative 5 so when I divide through so let me divide through by negative 5 what I do to one side I must do to the next so negative 5 will cancel with a negative 5 so I have a is equal to negative 4 okay So it's it's pretty simple from here, you know. After we have found our solutions, we're just going to state our corresponding solutions. Let me just pull this up a bit. So now I'm just going to say when a is equal to when a for the corresponding values, when a when a is equal to five, b is equal to four okay and when a is equal to negative four my b is equal to a is negative four b is equal to negative five uh, and those are our answers it's it's really that easy guys uh, remember if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them you can even rate the video if this has helped you if this video have hel helped you in any way okay and ask your questions if, if, if you're in doubt and we'll get back to you I mean we're cool like that okay good good bye bye